What is going on YouTube? Patrick here. Time for some sales this week. I will tell you that there was a good number of sales last week, but kind of low dollar. So overall, kind of a wimpy week from a total sales perspective, but lots of interesting stuff. Honestly, like I said, just no real big items. So even the sale of the week is actually kind of not that great. It's not bad, right? Sales are sales. I would say we've been uh, keeping the lights on this week. Uh, but with, I've got 17 sales, so let's get through them and uh, show you what we got. All right, up first, uh, PlayStation 3 game. My friend Ted gave me a box of video games and other stuff to sell. This was one of them. Uh, this one sold for $9.84 after shipping, which is about what I thought it was going to be worth. Now uh, we're going to split that into 40-40-20, uh, right? So 40% goes to me, 40% goes to Ted. And, uh, yeah, the rest is going to be set aside for... Uh, fees and shipping expenses, that kind of stuff. So it's going to be like $4 to each of us. Not too bad for a video game any day of the week. Number two, this was, I thought, pretty interesting. I picked up this cordless phone a while back, AT&T cordless phone. And um, when I went to test it, the one of the AC adapters had been cut. And it looked like they had tried to tape it back together, which I thought was really weird. Uh, but yeah, definitely not really good and it was like twelve dollars to buy a new one and i thought the phone system in general was going to be worth about twenty dollars so really like not great at all it wasn't a great pickup either i had just bought it thinking maybe it was good it wasn't great but then it hit me i'm like well wait a minute well if the ac adapters were twelve dollars i'll sell the ac adapter i have and that'll get me at least my money back and then i'm like well what about the rest of this stuff can i part it out <laughs> and uh well, this was definitely a good when in doubt, parted out type situation. I mean, I sold the AC adapter right away from my asking price. Sold for uh, with free shipping. So after shipping, $10.13. Uh, into this, it was only like $2.99 for the whole system. So honestly, pretty good, even if this is the only thing that sells. Uh, but uh, yeah, something else has sold already, but it'll be in next week's video. So stay tuned for that. Item number three, I think I've told you guys I'm trying to kind of get into baseball a little bit more. I want to know more about the gloves. I want to know more about the bats. What else is, what other gear will sell? And, you know, hats obviously you can sell, but I don't know if baseball specific. Who knows? But shoes, maybe some cleats. I don't know. Maybe catcher's masks. We'll see. We'll see what we come across. Try and keep learning there. Uh, Amber and I were at Saver's Thrift Store a few weeks ago and found a bunch of gloves, honestly, in really good shape. Some of them were brand new. I think this one was, I think I may have listed this new without tags, not not sure. Uh, but it was like $2.99 for this glove. So I was like, all right, even if it's only worth $10, I'm still not going to lose money and I'll learn. And uh, I ended up selling for $20 plus shipping. So nice little flip for $2.99, that's for sure. Item number four, this is an original Nintendo game, right? Going way back for this one. Pick them up whenever I see them, if they're a good price. This one wasn't too bad. It was, uh, I think it was $6.00. I think it probably was, it probably ended up being $5, honestly, but I've written down $6 because it was a little bit of a higher dollar one. And you can see it sold for $20 plus shipping. So nice little Nintendo flip there. Got these, I don't know, probably mid-summer, mid-late summer, something like that at a garage sale. And the guy wanted $5 each and I just picked up a bunch of them. This one ended up being a little more rare than I thought it was going to be. So nice little Nintendo flip. Item number five, oh man, I thought for sure that Amber was going to say this one was the weird sale of the week, but she didn't. Uh, this guy is the, the crab guy from Moana, and uh, this was available as part of a like Disney Store PVC set. And for whatever reason, some people don't really understand that. You can probably buy the whole set for about this price. If people are looking for just this guy for some reason. Uh, I think I may have put Cake Topper in the, the title. It sometimes is, is weird like that. Uh, but yeah, I think he was in a bag of a couple items and I paid $3 or $4 for the bag and the other item ended up being worth money too. So like this guy ended up selling for $12.20, seven twelve twenty seven after shipping, another free shipping item. And I was into him for about $2. So going to be able to, or going to want to look out for this guy in the future. Uh, I'm certain that more of him are out there. I'm sure you guys will find one too. Item number six. This one actually is Amber's weird sale of the week. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why. She just said it was just weird and she didn't think it was going to make it there without breaking. I hope it does. Uh, didn't ever, haven't checked on it. But uh, I thought this was an interesting one because I had sold a slide projector a week or two ago. And in the box that it was in, I found that's in the bottom of the box. It was brand new and it was completely unused. So I was like, all right, well, you know the rules. Look up everything, right? If you guys don't know the rules, look up everything you buy, even if you think it might be trash. Sometimes you find a hidden gem in there. 
And this one, sure enough, sold for $25 free shipping. Uh, and since it was kind of a add-on, right? I didn't know this when I bought this. I didn't know it was in the box. I thought I just bought the projector and it was sitting in my storage unit. And then sure enough, later on I find this. So I've already done all my accounting on this. So no cost. <laughs> kind of a free add-on you can get later. Uh, yeah, awesome flip when you can find things that you already bought for free and uh, sell them for money. Always a good one. Item number seven, this one wasn't so good. My friend Troy gave me this, I wanna say like two years ago, right? That's how long I've had this thing. And he was just like, I want this out of my house. I know you do eBay, I know you like video games. Why don't you see if this has any money, any value? And I was like, I know it doesn't. But I wanted to try and make sure I got this listed and sold for him uh, just because he was so kind to give it to me. And so it's been sitting and sitting and sitting and finally I took a best offer. Uh, ended up selling for after shipping two dollars and seventy two cents. So that's probably going to cover the fees, you guys. Don't the Darth Vader plug and play? Don't be looking for these, right? Pac Man usually pretty good still. SpongeBob not bad. There's a few others out there that you can do pretty well on. Stay away from the Darth Vader one. <laughs> Item number eight. This was a pretty good flip, honestly. My friend Liz gave this to me. Uh, actually, I, I bought it from her and her parents. Right, her parents were moving. She went and helped them clear out the house. Her and I worked on what items to keep and which items to donate. And this was one of the ones in the keep pile. The um, yeah, I think I had thought it was worth thirty dollars. That's what it sold for. So forty percent, right? Same deal as before. Twelve dollars to me. Twelve dollars to Liz. Thank you, Liz. Item number nine. This one's a little weird too, just because it's a random remote control. I actually put zero dollars cost on this as well. I'm guessing that I bought this with something else and ended up that didn't work and I, I tossed that out or donated it whatever it ended up being depending probably I threw it away you guys honestly and then I'm like okay now I've got this remote the remote didn't cost anything so popped it up there thought it was worth maybe like seven or ten dollars it's been for sale for a while you guys probably a year or two finally it sold uh, ten dollars so awesome little flip again zero cost is always gonna be a good flip <laughs> <laughs> item number 10 another video game this one's tony hawk's pro skater 2 i think i think that's the name of the game i've only written down tony hawk 2 here um and this one wasn't like my best flip ever but it wasn't bad at all uh 15 plus shipping i think it was 20 dollars free shipping something like that and i was into this for like two dollars i actually don't even remember where i got this likely it was from a garage sale where i bought a bundle of games um, I have a feeling it was from when I picked up a couple of really nice Polaroids earlier in this year, probably like April, May timeframe. So this has been for sale for a while and I thought I priced it really well, but it sat and sat and sat. But just like most things that sit and sit, it did, it did eventually sell. So very happy about that. Uh, nice video game flip for sure. Item number 11, another Nintendo game. This one from uh, the same exact time as the other one that I sold earlier in this video. Um, basically what I did was I had these all kind of sitting here next to my desk and I was trying to get myself to like go through them all, clean them, test them, that kind of thing. And they just sat and sat and sat for months. Finally, last week I finally finished cleaning them and got them all tested. So then of course got them all listed and sure enough, now that they're listed, they're selling, of course. Uh, this one, not too bad, right? This one sold for $8.65 after shipping. So it was probably like 12 or $13 before shipping. Uh, again, probably into this for about $5. So not the best flip with this one, uh, but uh, sold and out the door, not taking up any more space here. So that's really good. Item number 12, this, is a, this was a solid flip. I got this really early in the spring. And I remember I had bought like a, a, some really good, a really good video game pickup that same day uh, in the video. So that was really cool. And I'm trying to learn some more of this kitchen stuff at this point, right? So I was trying to figure out what can I buy and sell these little enamel coated Dutch ovens don't do bad at all. This one sat a little longer than I thought it would. Um, the good news is I think I paid 20 or $30 for everything. Uh, so this is gonna get me into the profit. The rest of the stuff I haven't listed either. I need to get back to that. It's another of those things where it's more of a project than I want it to be. But uh, hey, sometimes that happens, right? So now it's sitting in my death pile, of course. I think it's actually sitting in, the, in my, my eBaby room, just kind of gathering dust. Need to get back to those. Uh, but I've since I had bought this as a bundle, uh, not really sure how much I paid for this specifically. I wrote down $9 is what I ended up having on there and ended up selling it for $37. So I thought that was a pretty solid flip. $9 into $37, gonna be a good, day, good flip any day. 
Item number 13, this is a little security camera. My friend Matt uh, had given me a couple of these recently there that were, he just had these kind of sitting around gathering dust, right? You know that how that happens sometimes. He goes, I don't know if these have any value. Maybe you can help me out with them. Sure enough, was able to sell this one. Uh, not a lot of profit, right? This one sold for after shipping, $9.22. It's gonna be like $3.50 to me, $3.50 to Matt. He's been trying to get me to save all that stuff in, in my inventory, like the, the money, and then he's gonna have, do something with, uh, with our gaming group, so that should be really fun. Thank you, Matt. Item number 14, uh, $50. You wouldn't think so, but this one is. The sale of the week. I, I'm shocked too, you guys, $50. It's been a while since I've had a $50 item that was the sale of the week. Um, picked this up with Amber at a Savers thrift store a couple weeks ago. Paid up a little bit. I think they had this marked at $14.99. And of course, used 20% off, right? So that's going to take me down to $12. So not bad at all for as far as cost goes. And sold for $50. So fantastic. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the brand of Villaware, this is one you should learn. It is a solid brand. I've almost never gone wrong with this. Uh, a couple of them have been in worse shape once I cleaned it up than I thought they were. So be careful with that. Uh, but otherwise, it's, it's not impossible to go wrong, but it's pretty close, right? You're going to go well. These are going to go right more than they go wrong, I think. So definitely add Villaware as a brand to your Bolo list. And um, yeah, it's, they're kind of easy to identify a lot of times. Most of them look very similar, but not all of them. This one you can see has that clean, um, right, the, the shiny look to it versus a lot of them have like more of a grill look to it. Uh, but yeah, take a look into those. You guys can do really well with these. They're not super, super common, but I, I find them often enough that uh, they sell regularly, I'd say. So yeah, definitely keep this on your bowl list. Item number 15, another of my favorite items to sell, Nordic Wear. Um, this one, not the best. Uh, this has been sitting in my storage unit for a while. I grabbed it recently and cleaned it up. And only then did I realize that it really didn't have a lot of value and it was kind of scratched. So I priced it to move you guys, I really did. I think I priced it at $7, thinking let's just get this thing out of here. Someone offered me five, I took it. And good news is I only paid a dollar for this. Whenever I got it, it was a dollar, not a bad deal at all. Uh, Nordic wear in general, do pick it up. There, There's some really high end ones, as far as cookware goes, as far as bunt can pans go, right? And I'm talking like 30, 40, $50. That's high end for a bunt pan in my mind. Uh, this one, of course, not, not the best, but some of these that are very similar to this can do well in the $10 to $20 range. If you can get them cheap enough, they're a solid flip, you guys. All right, item number 16, another of these Nintendo games, right? I was into this for, again, $5. Uh, yeah, this one did not do as well either. Only sold for, I think, $11. After shipping, it was $7.60. Not great, you guys, not great. Uh, the last item this week is a board game. I had picked up a box of 10 of these games from this, this company uh, at the beginning of COVID and thinking COVID wasn't gonna last that long, we could be able to play them. And uh, COVID lasted a lot longer, right? And consequently, like, just haven't really gotten to these games. And finally, I'm like, are we gonna, are we gonna actually play these things or is it something that's just taking up space? And I read the reviews and I was just like, this just doesn't seem like something I really want all that badly anyway. And so I decided just to start selling off a few of the ones that weren't super interesting. Uh, so put this one up for, I think, $25 free shipping. And I think I took a best offer of 20. After shipping, it was $13.72. Not really sure how much this would have cost. I think I spent $100 on 10 games. So probably gonna get my money back on this one. Um, yeah, not, not bad. Definitely wouldn't be probably trying to flip this one if I was paying $10 for it at a thrift store, that, that's for sure. All right, so that's gonna do it this week, you guys. Uh, total sales, $282.30. Uh, listed 25 items last week, so met my goal there. And then sold 17. Cost of goods sold was a little bit, it was on the low side, $63. Uh, but uh, all those things combined is not gonna make for a good metrics, I don't think. Number of hours spent, I spent about 11 hours working on reselling last week. so. Sales minus fees of about $44 and minus cost of goods sold. It's gonna leave me with about $100, or maybe a little bit more than that. Um, let's see, $160. And then divided by the 11 hours I spent, it's gonna be about $16 an hour. Whew, working for minimum wage, you guys, let me tell you. That was not a great week, like I said. Um, it's that time of year, right? I had 17 sales, so that's solid. 
just nothing really high value. And, and, and you gotta take the good weeks with the bad, right? So just keep on staying positive, keep on listing, keep on sourcing those good items, right? Like we get in the habit sometimes of buying items that aren't the best, like those Nintendo games. I just bought them because I like buying Nintendo games. Or I shouldn't have bought those. I really shouldn't have, but I, I love buying them. And so like I did a bad I did a bad thing and bought them and I shouldn't have done that. Uh, so yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. Right, it must be that time of day. Uh, I'm gonna get some dinner, you guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please do smash that like button. And if you're interested in subscribing, uh, please do so. Try and do a What's Soul video once a week, every Wednesday, sometimes Thursday. And then also try to release a live thrifting or live garage sales, live estate sales on every Saturday. Try and try to be as regular as I can with that so you guys can, uh, can check it out. But otherwise, you can also click on that bell icon if you wanna be notified whenever I do upload a video. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Once again, my name is Patrick, and thank you very much.